What's going on guys? Welcome to J West Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Kino and Scooter. So all right, let me flip this camera around and show you what's good. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing before I get into the figures. We're going to check out the actual box that it comes in. So this is pretty dope. It comes in like a Roy's Greenwich uh, Village pizza box. It's even got like grease stains on the bottom that's a nice touch right there that's really cool check this out right here action figure yep keychain yep t-shirt uh i think i got an extra large it was yeah extra large because i panic <laughs> panic ordered um magnet onion spinach there's no onions or spinach well that's good i don't like onions and spinach anyway no olives no thank you uh i do like my my pepperoni though and i do like my sausage on there but you know we're getting in this pack. So let's open that bad boy up. Let's see if there's anything on the sides here. It says Kino with Scooter. On the side, Kino with Scooter. And then on the back, Kino with Scooter. Okay. So we're going to just open this up real quick. Like, oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. So we got. So before we take a look at Kino with the Scooter, because there he is. So we're going to uh, take a look at some of these other. Up, utter other goodies that we got in here so we got this uh this magnet here this fast delivery roy's pizza i might actually put this on my this is a huge magnet this thing is really huge <laughs> i like it though it's pretty neat i actually put this on my fridge then we got roy's pizza employee of the march <laughs> employee of the month march 1991 you know kino was never employee of the month you know he wasn't <laughs> You, you know he was a slacker. He was no employee of the month. Then we got this uh, keychain. It's a Roy's Greenwich Village keychain right there. It's pretty neat how all this, you know, it's, it's all this pizza related stuff. It's really neat. I dig that. And then we got the shirt here. I might have to find somebody because this is an extra large. I might have to find somebody with a large to switch. This is a, it's a nice shirt, but then it, it's way too big for me <laughs> so hopefully i can find somebody out there that can switch with me and then this is the real meat and potatoes of this pack right here kino with a scooter so yeah, look at that that looks so cool i'm so glad that we're finally able to get kino in this line so yeah i'm kind of doing this on the floor today uh, i'll probably do the <clears throat> the actual review in another room but right now i just want to take a look at this stuff here Kino in the box. Look at that. That is so cool. First figure that comes with a vehicle. So that's awesome. That Ernie Ray's likeness is spot on. Look at that. That cheesy grin right there. Nice. Down the side here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Secret of the Ooze. Got that nice, this nice box artwork. Well, not artwork. It's actually just pictures. So pictures of him and the in the uh the bag of pizza it keeps it nice and hot um let's see that's what okay that part goes on the back of the scooter we're gonna take a look at all this good stuff once i open it up a lot of photos of kino here getting ready to fight those thugs meeting the turtles here a hot and ready pizza and then another shot with uh, him and all four turtles so yo let's uh, let's take a look at this one side over here okay it's just him and the pizza bag all right yo let's take this yo let's open this bad boy up and see what's really good all right and we're back i got the got the got the roy's uh pizza share line here which i panic ordered on uh on, on that wednesday because i was at work <laughs> so i literally panic ordered and then by friday it was like available for hours so i felt kind of stupid after that but anyway um it's good to see my man kino we finally got a kino figure we've seen it we've seen kind of like behind the scenes uh looks about kino throughout the year and stuff like that um posted by Ernie Reyes himself so it was it was it was cool we knew it was coming it was just a matter of when it was coming so it hit us to San Diego Comic-Con it's got another Kino figure coming out with the boxing gloves and a fighting outfit comes with a uh the Bigfoot soldier and um a punching bag that thing looks cool so I, I can't wait for that set too that's gonna be dope um there, yeah I think there's there's a lot more figures to what I'm thinking about it that that that, that they haven't done yet that I'm I'm willing to bet <laughs> willing to bet that they're gonna come out with because they're gonna milk this for 
for years. It's not, it's, it's, yeah, they're still making heads for the 90s figures, so that's, yeah. Yeah, let's not count out NECA yet. They're not done. So, let's get to my man Kino here. Looking just like Ernie Ray's. Just, <laughs> just straight like he did in Secret of the Use, man. He looks great. I'm going to get this out of the way right now, though. I didn't, I've tried putting this head on the Secret of the Use, like, 90s body. And that doesn't work. <laughs> I'll show you a picture right here. It doesn't work. Um, unless you have a smaller neck peg, it's got to be like bigger at the base and smaller inside the head. It's not going to work because the, the dumbbell joint that they use for the neck is much bigger than Turtle's head and it's much smaller than Kino's head. So, And, and it looks weird. It looks weird. It makes him look super awkward. It's it. <laughs> Look, look, and it's it's weird looking. This is a pic that somebody else took. It looks a little bit better than mine. Um, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work. But yeah, Kino he he did um play Donatello. He did the the actions for Donatello in the first movie. So just wanted to get that out the way. Now, as for my man Kino, he comes with comes with some pretty cool stuff, man. Um, let me get the hands and stuff out of the way first because I want to talk about the the, the the scooter on its own. So basically, he's going to come with these two, like, open palm hands. So he comes with these. And then, he comes with two grabbing hands, so he can grab the handles on the scooter. So that's smart. Or weapons. I don't think he used any weapons Weapons in the movie, but... And usually, they come with fisticuffs. Usually, they, they come in the package, like, fisted up already, but... Ah, uh, I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> they... Come in the package with the fists on already. That just sounded weird the way I said it. Okay. And then that's pretty much it for the hands that he can grab on the scooter or he can grab any, like, oh, maybe nunchucks. We can give him Mikey's nunchucks. Uh, maybe, you know. There's that one scene where April's chugging and doing terribly at it. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, let me talk about the figure first and then we're going to jump into the bike. Okay. Uh, Kino, my man Kino comes with two heads here. So he's got kind of like this, like, the smiling expression right here. And then this, like, I don't know what this, I don't know what to call it. Kind of like, like, about ready to fight, maybe, expression. <laughs> Something like that. And he's got his outfit on, his boy's outfit. This is his work uniform. So we're getting this, the work uniform. We're getting the, the training uniform. But I, I want to know if we're going to get, like, his regular uniform where he was at the junkyard with Raph. I want to see if we get that one. That's that's probably like his most. Uh, this is probably an iconic outfit too, I'd say. But I think he only wears this for like the first couple scenes, and then he wears the other outfit. So, getting back to my man Kino here, uh, the head is going to be on the ball joint. So you're going to get that up, down, left, right. Pretty good range of movement there. Arms are on a ball joint. He does not have a bicep swivel, so it's not going to break up the, uh, the sculpt. So he does have a ball joint at the shoulders here. You can get that up, you can get that down, you can get that out. He has a single joint hinge at the elbow here, and then he's got the, the hinge and the swivel at the wrist. Let's see about the torso here, because it's covered up. So he probably does have a ball joint on the inside there, but this doesn't open up. It's all like one solid piece here. So, can't really tell, but I'm most likely he does have a ball joint at the, uh, the ab area. And then, he's got the swivel at the waist, and then he's got the ball joints at the thighs. It is a soft plastic, so you can kind of stretch it a little bit, but I'm worried over time, if you stretch it too much, it might rip. So, like, I'm kind of trying to be careful with the shirt. It is a little bit flexible, but then I think if you flex it a little bit too much, it'll start to rip at the uh, at the, at the seam right there. So that's going to be on the ball joint. And then he does have double joints at the knees. So that's good. He's got double joints at the knees. Kicks away in the face real quick. He, he's got a nice kick, too. <laughs> a real nice kick. Um, and then you got the, uh, the hinges and the rockers at the angles. So that's pretty much it for articulation. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. The The overall sculpt is great. I think it, it, it look, the likeness is spot on. The colors are spot on. The paint is... I do have a little 
paint blemish right here but other than that it looks really good um i like the little blotches on the uh the shirt here make it look kind of dirty but yeah overall the paint is good the sculpt is good um replay value that's where the scooter comes in and you can have them fighting you can have them riding the scooter it's pretty neat um so let's get into the scooter man all right now other accessories that he comes with comes with this bag of pizza so this is the, this is the bag where you keep the pizza and keep it hot and it comes with a little pizza box in there look at that the little pizza box it's like this is a mini pizza though yeah i think he, when he was delivering the pizza it was like two pizzas in there but this one only could really fit one and i think it can only fit this small pizza box we have more pizza boxes that came with um i think what came with the secret of you set and then one comes with the uh the 90 set unfortunately i believe this is the only one that's gonna fit in here and then no pizza though either i guess maybe the because it's so small they didn't put any pizza in there and I, I don't think you're gonna fit a whole pie in there so it's more for just looks than you know functionality you have to believe that there's actually pizza in there so i'm gonna pop that back in there in that slot let me see put it in sideways so that i can actually close this thing up come on Ooh, you can only put it in one way no nah, that don't make sense we're about to find out together okay so i'm gonna try to put it in sideways it's even too big to put on sideways like it, it, it'll be a tight fit so you have to put it in long ways okay yeah, all right fair enough fair enough <laughs> all right then there's these two tabs these two little tabs here and then they go in the holes on the back and they close that up boom hot pizza and then this is the little case that goes on the back of the bike you just open this bad boy up and then you put this inside boom there you go you close it up now the bike every time i the only problem i have with this bike so far is every time i pick it up the the kicks the kickstand it moves so then when i put it back down it tumbles over so that's the only pain in the butt thing that i've seen so far um but other than that it's yeah it just moves every time i pick it up um so let's go over this bike so it the wheels move on this thing so you got movable wheels the front handlebars actually move the front wheels so that's cool that's really cool too um let's see other than that there's really no movable parts there is a hard plastic here so be careful with that um just be very gentle because this is a hard plastic it will break if you're if you're kind of rough with it um yep that's where you put the key there's no key though not, not, if they actually put a key in that slot that was hanging down i'd, I'd be very impressed if they could do that <laughs> that would be sick so there's that bike looks really good got the the, the kickstand here the wheels Looks just like it did in the movie, even though we only get to see it for like a few minutes anyway. So there's that. And then there's this little piece on the back. Now there is some assembly required. I had to put this little black piece and attach it to the back of the bike. And then just, there's two holes underneath the seat. <clears throat> Excuse me, oof. I gotta get something to drink. Need a little beverage. Um, now we just put the uh, this little black piece in those two holes there, slide it in, be very careful. And then this thing has three holes on the back. And then you just pop that on top of there, like so. And it's, you'll hear a snap. And then there you go. So there's the bike. Kickstand went up. <laughs> Let's put that thing down. See, it just, yeah, stay still, dude. My kickstand's being a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now. I'm going to move this a little bit, and then I'm going to swap the hands on Kino. I'm going to put on his uh, his grabbing hands, and I'm going to sit him on this bike, see how he sits on this bike. All right. Speaking of pizza, man, I kind of want some pizza right now. I might go out and get me one. I had Pizza Hut already. 
Don't want Pizza Hut. I kind of want Domino's. I haven't had Domino's in a minute. Get some of that. Uh, thin crust. Oh, yeah. Sausage and pepperoni, of course. <laughs> it's maybe some cheesy bread. All right. So, let's try to sit him down. Okay. His legs. They do bend. Okay. Get his arms stretched out here. I'm just gonna try to balance this thing with my hand. Oh boy, let's see how is it. Uh oh. Slide in one side here. Gotta be very gentle because this is like a very brittle plastic that we use. Oh, yo, his his pinky just went like this. <laughs> oh snap. Okay, and that's him on the scooter. Okay, all right. I kind of got him in balance like a one and two. He doesn't sit on there like I want. Like I wish he was kind of leaning back a little bit more, but he's kind of like like at the edge of the seat, and that's pretty much as good as I can get him right now. But yeah, um, oof. The, all right, I like it, but I probably will not display him like this because I don't like how. Like the kickstand, it doesn't work too good. Like if you you blow on this thing the wrong way, it's gonna fall. Um, and then the front wheel is like jack. It's like in the air. Like I don't know if you can see that. Like if the front wheel's not on the ground. And while that's fine, um, I kind of want to give the impression that like the bike is kind of moving. Um, I just wanted the balance. I just kind of wanted to stand up. But then I don't like the way he sits on it. He's kind of like like up a little bit i gotta try to get him back there's a whole bunch of seat he ain't sitting on <laughs> um but yeah that kickstand is um, yeah I, I literally just touched it and kickstand just yeah i'm worried about that i'm worried about that kickstand man because every you, you keep you touch it to move it or, or uh, like dust it off it's gonna just fall over oh okay that's 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 my only gripe with this I'm going to have to play around with this kind of work on it a little bit. Maybe my kickstand is just a little loose. I don't know if that's across the board. Um, but yeah, that's not. Mm -mm. Maybe, yeah, I definitely won't have. He was only on the scooter for like a minute anyway. But yeah, you, you sit him down and it just collapses. And then the front wheel will be in the air. I don't know. It just looks weird to me. It doesn't, I don't know. It just... It looks weird with that wheel in the air. You just got to make, make believe, I guess. So, and let's see. Which head would I use, though? I think I'll use the smiling head. The, the, both heads look really good. Both heads look amazing. I'm going to have to take some, some uh, close-up shots of these. But other than that, I think this is a dope figure. I love that it comes with the scooter. Um, I love that the scooter is functional. So that's cool. You can actually ride this thing around. Uh, the only problem I really have is just the kickstand and how it's just kind of awkward and just stands up when it feels like it. <laughs> you gotta place it in like a certain position and wheels up in the air. Other than that, I think it's a great figure. Um, maybe not worth the price that it was. I think it was just because it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It was a little bit overpriced, but that's just my opinion on it. Um, so, so far, this is the only place where you could have gotten it was online, San Diego Comic Con, the online sales, or at the show itself. So, uh, good luck if you're still trying to hunt this figure down. Go in some of the, um, the groups. If people are selling this figure. You might even get it at cost. So, good luck with that. Um, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, if you, if you like what I'm doing here, you like the channel, and you like your boy, Jay, you know, like, subscribe. You know, give me a like and subscribe. Help the page grow a little bit, you know. We all here, we all here having fun doing this together, man. So, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, on that note, um... I'm going to catch you on the west side. Peace and love. And I'm out.